Well, during my interview with Gateway President Ed Hughes, I referenced the 2020 Jobs Outlook that took an in-depth look into job growth and demand for education and training over the decade for more than 800 occupations in our 15-county region. The Center for Economic Analysis and Development at Northern Kentucky University and the Institute for Policy Research at the University of Cincinnati produced the forecasts for the report using new Bureau of Labor Statistics data. This report was created to be a directional guide for targeting our job creation and workforce preparation efforts to accelerate the growth of the region. The findings say that we're expected to have nearly 340,000 total job openings over the next decade. We're encouraged by this, but also believe that aggressive new economic development strategies should be created so that we accelerate this number and create even more jobs between now and 2020. The data for our area clearly identifies the fastest growing and best paying occupations, and they are those related to health care, education, business, finance, and technology. Production and construction will also grow and provide well-paying jobs for years to come. The report verifies what many already knew, and that was that education and training beyond high school is required for well-paying jobs. Among jobs paying over the median wage, 9 out of 10 will require some combination of post-secondary education, on-the-job training, and or work experience beyond one year. For more than 10 years, employers, Chambers of Commerce, workforce boards, and education and training providers from across our tri-state region have worked together to close skill gaps for targeted industries. In fact, since 2008, more than 5,500 individuals for in-demand jobs in healthcare, advanced manufacturing, and construction. The data in this report is useful for all of us who support business to make sure employers have the talent they need to compete and people have the skills they need for good jobs. If you'd like an electronic version of the 2020 Jobs Outlook, please visit www.regional-indicators.org. Well, nearly 50 years ago, 911 technology was created by the telecommunications industry as an innovative method for governments across the country to provide a life-saving service for its citizens. The telephone industry provided the technology and billing mechanism at that time. Therefore, it was logically placed on landline telephones. Today, we view this life safety service to not only be necessary, but a critical function of the government to provide, much like police and fire department services. Moreover, like all government services, we want it to work well and to be delivered as efficiently and cost-effectively as possible. Recently, the Chamber aided the Kenton County Fiscal Court in assessing ways to consolidate their 911 dispatch service so that one system would serve the entire county, rather than the three centers currently in operation. It is a long-standing position of the Northern Kentucky Chamber to encourage and support government efficiency at all levels, and we were ready to assist the Fiscal Court in their mission to identify the fairest and most efficient means to fund the 911 consolidation. In order for this to occur, a new source of funding is needed to be identified to replace the current surcharge on landline telephone bills. Due to the consumer shift towards mobile phones, the landline surcharge is no longer a sustainable source. Several options had been discussed and debated by the Kenton County Fiscal Court for financing this service, and thanks to the leadership of Judge Executive Steve Arlinghouse and Commissioners Beth Sewell, John Droud, and Chris Knockelman, the Fiscal Court approved that means to finance the service through a flat fee on land parcels. The fiscal court should be recognized for moving the ball forward on efficient government practices that will produce a safer 911 dispatch service for its constituents. This region has many successful mergers and service consolidations to its credit. Shared utilities, joint maintenance agreements, and sharing of fire and police protection between communities are numerous across our region. But like many consolidation efforts, the road to reaching agreement Fairness in funding and oversight is not easy. Perseverance, openness, and compromise, however, are key. In the end, consolidation aligns directly with the Chamber's mission in that we believe that a government that makes wise, efficient investments in services like 911 Dispatch will save taxpayer dollars that can turn into investments in economic development, infrastructure, and additional quality of life amenities. Well, folks, right now we need to take a short break, but when we come back, we'll showcase another chamber member business, so don't go away.